funny today. It's um, carved a little while ago. This is just a little 1900 um, Eaton supercharger system in the Harrop um, setup. And it's on a 402, so this is the LS2 that we've put a straight crankshaft in, forged pistons, h beam rods, and done a 402 build. Um, and previously, this has got a clutch and, and suspension and, and wheels and things to make it all drive nice, good exhaust system. And previously, had one of our fuel systems up in the front corner, but it was only a single pump fuel system. One of the things I wanted to go through was essentially what we have found over the last couple of years in particular is that the, the actual um, way fuel is working, we're needing to step up to even bigger fuel systems for the same amount of horsepower. More about when the fuel's hot, the viscosity of the fuel, and there's other features that are involved, but we've really found that all of the things, we need to step up a little bit bigger in the fuel system to make sure it can cope with the hot fuel. So that's exactly what we've done. We've just put the second pump in the system, um, run a second um, fuel line that comes around and goes into the second, uh, the other rail. So there's basically one pump for each rail on the engine. And then we've done a retune. And this is, this engine's done um, about the 10, 15,000 case. I haven't got the exact record in front of me, so I've done very little, but it's still properly run in. Um, and it's working really nicely. It had run 620 horsepower at the tyres. And now I've actually retuned to suit the second pump. Um, and it's just making a little bit more power. You know, it's in the 630 horsepower at the tyres, which is still great power for a 1900 supercharger on running 98 fuel. And as you can see, this has just got a really nice, strong torque, torque curve. It's only a little camshaft, standard LS2 heads on the four inch stroke, which gives us the, the 402 capacity. But um, this is just a great car to drive. And, and as you can see there, nice torque curve, nice power curve through the middle there. And like I said, we've ended up with the 630 horsepower at the tyres, or 32 horsepower at the tyres is the best run. Those two runs, you can see back to back, it's very consistent. Um, this has turned into a really great package.